Our next um, award is the Medical Technology Company of the Year Award. It's sponsored by St. Paul's Foundation and Providence Health. So please join me in um, welcoming Dr. Sajan, Physician, Co-Director of Clinical Planning at the new St. Paul's Hospital. Thank you, Wendy. And uh, hello, everyone. There are many ways to define research excellence, funding, papers published, impact, partnerships. By every measure, Providence Healthcare is a research powerhouse. Supported by St. Paul's Foundation, we have more than 1,000 research staff, over 240 principal investigators, and 11 Canada research chairs. Among the hallmarks of our approach is that our scientists, researchers, and clinicians work closely with industry partners to improve patient care across BC and beyond. Providence is where Dr. Julio Montaner developed the treatment to stop people from dying of HIV AIDS. It's where Dr. John Webb developed TAVI, the minimally invasive heart valve replacement procedure. That's why it's such a pleasure to be here today to announce that Cardium is the 2021 Medical Technology Company of the Year. Cardium has deep connections with our team. From its inception, the scientists at Cardium have worked closely with our cardiac surgeons and clinician researchers to pioneer new ways to treat people with atrial fibrillation. Today, with the new St. Paul's Hospital already under construction, we're on the cusp of a golden age in medical discovery. The campus will include an incredible research complex about twice the size of the current St. Paul's. It will become a hub for transformational research and unprecedented opportunities for collision and collaboration, bringing research from the bench to the bedside to the marketplace. We are proud to have been part of Cardium's journey and we look forward to partnering and pioneering the future of life-changing research. The Medical Technology Company of the Year Award is presented to an early stage life sciences company which, although not yet achieving commercial success, has demonstrated outstanding performance and realized significant milestones in 2019 and is positioned well for potential future commercial success. The winning company must be headquartered in and have the majority of its operations in BC. It should also have a proven ability to secure capital as well as hold a key market position, opportunity or strategic advantage. The winner of this award must be positioned to achieve strong business results in the future. This year's winner, Cardium, was founded in 2007 and is headquartered in Vancouver. Cardium has been recognized several times as a top company to work for in BC. This past year, Cardium launched and commercialized the Global Mapping and Ablation System, which provides the most complete system for cardiac electrophysiologists to identify and treat atrial fibrillation. The globe catheter features an array of 122 electrodes. Combined with Cardium's GPS 3D mapping and navigation system, which tracks the position of the globe catheter inside the atrium, it creates full 3D high definition maps of the entire atrium to identify targets for ablation. Once identified, the target is immediately ablated with the same electrodes, resulting in a rapid, effective treatment for atrial fibrillation. Using the globe catheter not only reduces procedure time, but also improves the effectiveness of the treatment. In addition to commercializing their revolutionary technology, Cardium has also recently announced a major investment financing of 115 million US dollars which was led by two major blue chip investment funds, Fidelity Investments and T. Rowe Price. This significant investment will allow for continued growth for Cardium and the GLOBE system, and will also contribute to the ongoing growth of the BC Life Sciences ecosystem. Now let's watch our award winners video describing their journey in their own words. So Cardium was founded 
14 years ago uh, to really solve the problem of atrial fibrillation, which is the most common heart rhythm disorder in the world. So the first day was spent going to Able Auctions, buying our desks, setting them up, and then starting to work. So it's a very different approach. Uh, we started with a problem, which was this epidemic of atrial fibrillation, and we looked for a solution. I would say of general different concepts, we probably tried about 50 to 60 different ideas till we settled on the right idea. And then from the time we made the first prototype of that concept to the time that we had something that we could even marginally use, I know we made 120 of them. So what I'm most proud of uh, at Cardium is the resilience of the team. It's been a long journey. 14 years is a long time to work on a single product that you really want to see succeed. We've had such strong employee retention over the 14 years that it's the same team that was the, you know, the genesis of this product is still here. <laughs> One of the things to be an entrepreneur is that you have to accept that people will tell you you're not going to succeed many, many times likely that many people won't believe in what you're doing and think that you're crazy. So the globe is commercially available in Europe and we're treating patients there. Uh, it is under, available in Canada under clinical study and we're about to start a US study for FDA approval. We're super honored to receive the award. It's, it's especially important for us because it comes from our peers. All we think about all day is problems. And it's like, oh, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix this. And sometimes you don't look up and say, hey, we've actually achieved quite a bit. And so that's uh, really great for the team at Cardium uh, to feel that recognition from their peers. So where we see Cardium going in the future is uh, building a major uh, life sciences company here in Vancouver. Make sure you enjoy every day. So surround yourself with great people. Uh, work on a problem that's interesting, that you enjoy and uh, accept that it's not going to be moving forward every day. That was awesome. Congratulations, Cardium. I invite Kevin Chaplin, CEO of Cardium, to accept the award. Please welcome Kevin Chaplin. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sajan, for the kind words and introduction. And uh, thank you to Wendy and the whole team at Life Sciences BC for this uh, Great award, I have it here, I received it this week. So we have the, uh, the award with us. Thank you, it's a great honor to receive that and uh, recognize the great year that Cardium has had um, with the launch of our GLOBE system and the uh, successfully treating patients uh, in Europe with our commercial system and also uh, in Canada, um, including uh, soon at St. Paul's Hospital. We look forward to that. Um, and improving the treatment of atrial fibrillation. Um, our financing last year was also a major a milestone for us and a big success bringing in over $115 million uh, US from two large blue chip investors. We're very excited by that. And uh, we'll be starting our FDA study uh, of our GLOBE system soon. Um, I just learned today from Doug Jansen that, the, uh, that boldness is a sign of uh, success in the uh, BC life sciences community or hard work. So you can tell uh, Doug Gertson, who I've led the company with together uh, is part of the bald club. I still have my hair, so I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, we obviously have been on a very long journey uh, with our whole team, uh, you know, over 14 years now. And I would like to accept this award on behalf of everyone at Cardium, the whole team at Cardium, uh, we have over 200 people at Cardium now. We've grown over the years and we are only successful because of the excellent people on our team. Um, we've got a fantastic team of brilliant people who have put in hard work, uh, lots of hours, overcoming many hurdles, as Doug said, solving many, many problems over the years. And this award recognizes the contribution of the excellent people we have at Cardium. And so I say thank you on behalf of everyone at Cardium. Uh, it's great for us to pause, recognize the great contributions that everyone has made on the team and be recognized as the medical device company of the year. Um, we'd also like to thank Life Sciences BC uh, and we look forward to growing the BC Life Sciences community um, around companies like Cardium.
and uh, hope to be an anchor company as we continue to grow in Vancouver. So congratulations uh, to everyone at Cardium for this award. Uh, thank you to BC Life Sciences and I wish uh, everyone at Cardium uh, success uh, with our ongoing achievements. Thank you very much.